So in the mortgage world, mortgage interest rates are awesome. I feel like this week and next week is going to be absolutely awesome. So this is what's happening. So interest rates were at a very low point in the beginning of March, and then they went up, 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 up for the next two, three weeks, and then they've siphoned back down. And so as that happens, you want to be ready for your mortgage application, already turned in, already ready to go. So that way, when the interest rate hits, for what you're looking for and the savings that you need, then your lender can just lock the interest rate. Interest rates are extremely volatile right now, I have to say, and so there's a lot going on, but the government has stepped in and said, we are going to buy mortgages, mortgage-backed securities, bonds, on an unlimited basis right now. So we don't know when that water spigot is gonna turn off, so it's important to act now, act fast on these low time, all-time low interest rates. But as you do, what's happening is, you will um, work with your lender, select your lender now, get your application in, get in line, let, the, let everything get ready for review. And then when it's right, when the market's right, your lender will go ahead and lock your interest rate. That's the best way to do it. If you wait and shop around, wait, don't do anything, shop around, wait, you will miss the boat. And if you just say to your lender, hey, call me when interest rates get better, that's not going to work either because it's the lenders, it's the clients that have lined up their mortgage application, have everything ready to go and say, here you go, Don, here it is, lock in my interest rate when it hits, then I'm able to do that and perform. And then it's not until after I'm done with all of those clients that I can think about my clients that have said, hey, Don, call me if interest rates go down. So number one rule, reach out to your lender, get your application in line, get it in place. So the other interesting thing is if you're a shopper, now might not be the best time. It's like, what are you shopping for? It's like if you say, okay, I want an interest rate of 2.5%. You'll have a lender that will deliver you a loan estimate with 2.5%. So they'll get that loan estimate done, get it shipped off to you, and you're like, there's your 2.5%. And then you're like, wait a minute, why is there four points with this interest rate of 2.5%? Well, you wanted two and a half percent. So the key number two is that your loan officer can do math because that loan rate of two and a half percent with four points will take you like 40 years to recoup those closing costs. Yeah, on a 30 year mortgage, that doesn't seem to make sense, does it? So get a loan officer that can do math and is look, will look out for your benefit. I have a quick story to tell you. So Will, a client came to me and he was quoted by a relative, a friend, I think it was a relative, um, friend of the family, a very, very low interest rate with a $4,000 closing cost credit. And I was already giving him a no cost loan at a great interest rate. Um, however, I couldn't compete with $4,000 credits. It was negative closing costs. He would have had like no closing costs plus an extra thousand dollars and the same interest rate that I was quoting. So I just said, well, you have to do it. I understand this is family friend as well. So good luck. So within 24 to 48 hours, he sent me an email back and said, on can we work together i'm a little bit embarrassed but that client never got his interest rate locked by that lender so the lender was speculating that he could do it was committing to something and he so he emailed me back said don do you happen to have that interest rate locked for me and i said yep well i have it locked and so he was like okay i'm gonna proceed with you and so pretty exciting uh times for me i was able to close this loan and i felt like he's a great client of mine a great past client so i didn't want to lose his business especially because i do a lot of loans for him and his and his employees and his work environment so i'm extremely thankful for uh for will and his whole company so number three don't believe everything you hear if you are told something verbally get it in writing and if your lender is speculating that rates will go back down, then let them say that. Then they should say, I am not locking in your interest rate yet because we are waiting for this rate to hit this. When it does hit, I will then lock your interest rate. If they're not clearly saying that and you don't have clear expectations, that will be a problem for you when you have the expectation that your interest rate is being locked in. So clear, good communication is definitely, definitely pre preference during this time. Um, so reach out to me for this and other questions regarding refinancing, reach out to me. It's important that your, your lender's honest with you, that they do math, that they um, give you a fair interest rate quote, that they get your application going so that when rates hit, they can just lock. And, um, and that while you're at home, you're able to do this refinance while you're working because if you become unemployed, you can't refinance. So it's important to that you get going on this now and that your lender act well for you and quick. This is Don Connors from Mortgage One. Thank you for watching.